guys and welcome back to my channel. So today in Melbourne it is a very gloomy day. It's been very hot the last few weeks and now all of a sudden it's decided let's rain non-stop. And my little friend in the background, little munchkin here, decided at 4am that he needed to pee. I live in an apartment at the moment to take him downstairs to pee and we got drenched. So I had my alarm set for 8 o'clock to film you know, three or four videos and that just didn't happen because I was still fast asleep. <laughs> anyway, I eventually have got everything sorted. Um, I had to really turn on all the lights this morning. Um, I've got a ring light there and all these different lights because yeah, it's pretty dark today in this room. So today I'm gonna share with you my March favorites. You may have noticed um, I didn't actually do a February favorites and I don't actually know why. Um, but what that does mean is that this is kind of a February, March favourites, and these are products I've been loving throughout those two months. Um, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to share with you something that if you follow me on Instagram, which is in all the links are down below, um, that you will know I've been obsessed with. I've been sharing it with it in my stories. I've just been sharing it with everyone. And it is the MAC Perfume in Creme de Nude. Now this to me is just absolutely beautiful it um i'm gonna put down the description box i think it's like an amber musky scent but what i love about this one is in comparison to the other ones this is very everyday um you can wear it you know to a picnic to a date every day to work to school um to uni uh to the gym if you feel like you want to i just love it it smells oh Oh my gosh, it really smells amazing. And I have to be honest with you, for a perfume, uh, this is quite, um, it's like affordable. So, you know, if you get a 50ml of a Chanel perfume or something, it might cost you $150 or 160 Australian dollars this is, where this was $84 for 50ml. I'm not saying that's cheap, but it's on the cheaper side for when you go into fragrances. Um, and this is a firm favourite. I've been using it every single day since I got it at the start of March. As we're clearly on a MAC theme, um, I have two things I'm going to share with you, and it's what's currently on my lip, and it's what's been currently on my lip every single day. And it is the MAC pen Lip Pencil in Dervish, and my cult favourite patisserie lipstick. Now, this is kind of the colour of that. I don't know if it will come up that clear. But it's this beautiful deep mauvey purple colour. And then this is the lipstick, which I'm sure everyone has seen at some point in their life. And it is the MAC Patisserie Lipstick. This is my go-to lipstick. Um, if I find one that I like more than this, hang on. Like, shut the front door because this I am just obsessed with. Um, so, keeping on with um, face kind of stuff is this um, Clear Skin I'm Real Rice Mask Sheet Clear Skin. Now, it's not just this one. I mean, I kind of am loving them all at the moment. They are, I can't remember where I get these. I think I, I think I actually got these at Selfridges, but I'm sure I'll link down below where you can buy them online. Um, I'm a real lover of sheet masks. Now, I know some people are very anti them, and people who are really into their skincare are not really into them either. But you know what? I have, I'm really lucky I have some really expensive skincare and some really expensive face masks and I love them. But when you just want to get in the bath, have a relaxing night and really relax and kind of treat yourself to a relaxing night, these are perfect. Um, and what's great about these is you just can relax when you put them on. And I always feel so much more rejuvenated after wearing one of these. And yeah, I really, I really recommend these and I've been using these all throughout March. Next on my list of goodies for March is the Bondo Sands Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. Now this, sorry about my lights, I haven't figured them out quite yet, um, but this is a gradual tanning milk body moisturiser, dual action formula, and it's got cocoa butter scent. Now I have always used the Eco Tan Winter Skin um, Gradual Tan. I love it, um, and I'm always going to love it. But I heard really great things about this and I was a little bit skeptical and the reason I was skeptical is I'm super fair skinned and I didn't, you know, a lot of these tans make me go orange and if they're streaky it's a disaster and gradual tanners sometimes can be streaky, they shouldn't be but they can be. The magic of gradual tanners is usually you can kind of put it on, it doesn't matter if you miss a spot it's not too obvious and it takes a few days to build it. 
Everyone was raving about this, so I tried it, and I have to say I love it. The scent's amazing. Um, when you put it on, it stays kind of like that sticky, wet feeling. I would say for five minutes, the Eco Tan does dry quicker. Um, but I mean, I got this three weeks ago, and like, seriously, what? I'm, like, I'm obsessed with this. I'm putting it on most nights. Um, it's great just to keep that summer glow. And I mean, before I go to Bali in Europe, I'm definitely going to be putting this on. So I'll be coming from Melbourne winter and I'll need a bit of a glow. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. So my last thing is, and the last thing for, you know, skin care is this Frank Body Cacao Coffee Scrub. Now, as you'll notice, sorry, I think the lighting is going to be a little bit funny for this one. I might just put it back here with me. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder trying to find out what's happening. Um, but this is, I can actually open it. Oh, the reason I have a new one is because my one's nearly empty in the shower and I didn't want to show you a dripping one in the shower. Here we go. This is a better way to show you. So this is the cacao one. I like any of them. I think they're all fantastic. And what I love about them, apart from the fact they do make a huge mess in your shower and that not great or in your bath wherever you use the scrub I do love the result so when I've used the scrub I let it sit on and I do something else like washing my hair or you know I don't know what else you can really do in the shower not much sit there basically and then I rinse it off and oh the result is amazing your skin feels so smooth and I just love that feeling and it's great to use before you put on fake tan or before you put on gradual tanner. I use this maybe every second day and I just do a little bit, like just half a hand fill, full, sorry. And I just put it all over my body and I absolutely love it. So the last, now that was the last thing in skincare and whatnot, but this is the last thing in home beauty. I don't know. Anyway, so this is a candle from one of my favorite brands in the UK, Cow Shed. Oh, I really miss London guys. I've had one of those weeks where I'm bit sad and it's called moody cow now they always have really funny names like grumpy cow old cow moody cow and it's this beautiful beautiful i don't think it's going to show up on the viewfinder because it's just a little bit too bright because it's white but it's just beautiful kind of um white prints with not grass but different grass patterns around it which sounds weird um and it says cow shed and i love how understated these are you don't know that they're quite a i mean they're not as expensive as joe malone i don't think but they're a really beautiful candle and then do you know what else i love a lot of candles when they're white they get that black rim when you burn them quite a lot this one doesn't oh i mean you can see i've used quite a bit of this um but i absolutely love this um, and if you ever can get, yeah, I think you'll buy them selfridges online. I'm not sure you can buy it. Again, I'll link it down below, but I have about four of these I brought when I was in London. <laughs> Before I start clothes, I have two book slash calendar things. So the first thing, <laughs> any of my friends watching this will know it's no surprise, is this Doug the Pug um, calendar. Now, the reason I love this Doug the Pug calendar is because I love Doug the Pug. Now, if you do not follow Doug the Pug on Instagram, you're missing out. He is friends with Justin Bieber. He is friends with Adele. He's friends with Nicole Kidman. He's friends with Little Mix. He's friends with One Direct. He's friends with everyone that you can think of that's kind of famous, basically. He has, I think, 2.5 million subscribers on Instagram. And he brought out a calendar. And I mean, isn't this just like, seriously, are you, are you dying yet? I found him when he had 100,000 subscribers. And I'm such a loyal fan. I mean, they're really relatable quotes the owner does with him. So, for example, having some me time and it's pizza and wine. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? Um, and I love having this hanging up in my room. It just makes me smile every time I look at it. And the second book thing, or book written thing, is this Vogue Inside by Alexandra Schulman. Now, if you don't know who that is, she is the British editor of Vogue. Was, I think she's... I don't know if she stepped down already. She was definitely stepping down. I'll have to double check my facts there. Um, but wow, she is an incredible lady. And this really just goes, basically what it says, behind the scenes of Vogue. And she's one of the longest standing editors of Vogue, I think. Again, I'm gonna have to link this down below. Um, oh, I probably should have um, checked all that, those facts that I was gonna tell you. But anyway, so it says, Editor-in-Chief Alexandra Schulman kept a diary of Vogue centenary year. And what a year, an emotional logistical minefield, producing the 100th anniversary issue with um, the Duchess of Cambridge on the cover. And I'm not going to read the whole back to you, but you kind of get the gist. And I mean, it's obviously a big deal to have Kate Middleton on the front cover because she, they, you know, the royals are known for not really doing any magazine 
thing. So I have her on the front cover. I think it was an honor for her and an honor for them as well. I think it equally was such an amazing thing for both sides. Anyway, read this book, it's quite interesting. So I have three things left. Sorry if I'm talking fast, I'm aware that my videos are starting to get, I can look at the viewfinder and I'm like, oh, it's getting long. Anyway, fashion, shoes, right. I know Gucci again is having a moment. You can see I'm wearing my Gucci t-shirt again. And then I have this, which you can't actually see the back of it. Hang on, oh, can you, oh, hang on. You can't really see, but on the back it has Vogue and whatnot. And I got this from the Vogue, which you'll see. Oh, no, I was on this side, the Vogue shop. Um, for their 100 year anniversary last year and so it has little things all over it um, that are custom made for Vogue so it's a really fun denim jacket that's actually not my favourite point being I was wearing the Gucci t-shirt gosh I go on off a little ranch anyway so these are my Gucci sneakers and I'm absolutely obsessed with them I'm wearing them at least every second day they're so comfortable they're so easy to wear they go with everything um, and you need to size down one whole size. So I'm always a 40 and these are a 39. Again, sticking on the Gucci theme. Gucci's having a moment, isn't it guys? Is my Gucci Marmont small camera bag. Now, if you again follow me on Instagram, you'll be seeing this non-stop. I'm obsessed with this bag. It's so easy, the leather's so soft. It's an absolute ton in there. It's a serious Mary Poppins situation. Um, and I just love how supple the leather is. I love how soft it is. Um, I took this out and had quite a big night and it didn't get one mark on it. I had a little mark on in the morning and I just wiped it off. So, so far it's just standing up really well. I mean, I know I've only had it for a few weeks, but it's a really beautiful bag and I'm really enjoying using it. My last item, I have had a lot of you guys emailing and sending me DMs on Instagram. And it is this dress, which I'm just figuring out how to show you. It is this dress from Target. Now, I think a lot of people were surprised. A lot of people were asking me because I wore this to a um, PR event a few weeks ago and I've been outfit repeating with it majorly. And a lot of people were like, where's the dress from? Where's the dress from? And I think a lot of people were surprised when I said it's actually from the Danny Minogue Petite range um, at Target. Now, I don't know why Petite because I'm five foot seven, which is not like I'm not that short. And um, it goes past my knees. So it's a fantastic dress. I absolutely love it. It's got little cold shoulders, so like the cutout sleeves. Um, and it's a really beautiful dress. It's super flattering. It's great for summer. And I think it's going to be a great kind of transition into autumn. Um, no, not autumn. Yeah, autumn. It's autumn. Yeah, autumn weather. Um, just as it gets a little bit colder, it's still got that summery feel without being too summery. But again, you can wear it in the summer and feel very summery in it. Um, anyway, I will leave links to everything down below. Um, if you liked this video, please do not forget to hit the red button down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave down below comments of what your March favourites have been. Because um, every time I do these videos, you guys leave some great recommendations um, down below in the comments and I get to try out new products, which I absolutely love doing. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Oh, I'm facing the